So we've got the multi-use clamp, which is designed to hold most shapes. You've got the rotary clamp, which is designed for holding your rings and bangles. You've got the end mill cutter at the moment, which is also where your diamond tipped engraving tool goes. Loosen this. Right. So your L tool, first clicks are rings, second clicks are bangles. On top here, you've got your pressure lock. The right hand is for cutting out. The left hand is for engraving. So if you're cutting out, you want that firm in place. If you're engraving, it will bounce. This is the slot for the pen adapter to fit into. So that goes from there and goes into the fingers. This is your emergency stop button. Your spindle speed for when you're doing it. The only time you really need to mess with that is if you're doing wax carving. You've got buttons here for whether you're doing a flat piece, the outside of the ring or the inside of the ring. This is for uh, moving around your menu and for controlling your uh, laser pointer. This will recenter your pointer or if you press it for a long time, calibrate your tool. This is start, okay, and to get into your menu. These are for your Z's and A's. And here's how you change the finger over which finger you're using in the rosary. When you're using the machine, ensure the lid is down when it's in use. As a safety feature, it won't actually work with the lid open. The tool tray is also a metal collection tray, so that feeds drops straight into it. So if you drop anything in there, it just drops into there, and it's also a handy place to keep your tool.